Yeah. And there's a good point there too, just how far technology and robotics and automation have come. I think we had a set of the first IRB 340s that ever existed. You know, they were yes. out, out on the floor for Vintage. close to 15 years. Wow, okay. Um, yeah. and, and we did you sell those back in? No, no, <laughs> I, we did not, but yeah, it had, you know, the original Pickmaster software, yeah. you know, that was, so there was iterations of Pickmaster that have been, you know, going on years and years and years have been developed and they were still running on, you know, Gen 1 of, yeah. of a Pickmaster. Yeah. They can only upgrade it so far with the controllers that they had, so. It came a time where it was like, this is, needs to be just I mean, move forward. We went from eight, eight bots and several people hand packing and just kind of a labyrinth of conveyors to a very clean system with 10 robots and zero people hand packing. Yeah. Um, and, and that's just, I attribute that to a lot of the investments in the technology. Mm -hmm.